Hello YouTube, this is Vakimare today and today we're just going to do the after restoration of this Dyson DC01 dish gel. Now on the original uh, video I said it was a rare. Now what makes this one rare? The vacuum is not actually super rare but to actually get one with the original box all intact I don't want to is rare. Move it. You move it back. So, as you can see now, look, it does look like it's just come out the and box. And we've shown it in that bolt forever. Yeah. And it, I don't want it to go that hobo, greeny, yellowy colour. Yeah. So, we actually did the original video probably about 17, 17 months ago. Yeah. But we were on a treasure hunt to find all the parts for it. And that's why I've only literally just uploaded the video uh, and restored it. Um, Carl's actually used this one quite a few times pre the restoration um, and it does pick up very well indeed actually. Yes, I'll, I'll try the mounting Yeah, that's what actually the Dyson, Dyson DCO1s is actually Carl's, one of Carl's favourite Dyson uprights. Um, he like, what he likes about them is because they got the the round brush roll opposed to the he, I think it's the ones with the clutch on, which was the flat, the flatter ones. The flatter ones seem to clog with longer hair, more so than this and one does. And the brand new Dysons don't do it. That's right, because they've gone back to the round ones again, yeah, haven't they? Not, not like the DC50s. Yeah. The so, as you can see now, so we'll, we can just see by the box now how well I've actually got this one. Well, don't look like it's like in the box. That's more shinier, it's on the box. Yeah, we've actually got this one more shinier in the box. than the box. Um, so, we'll get rid of the box now. Uh, we're going to pull it back in our box. Because it will probably be going back in its box, like he in said. So as um, you can see, we could have actually put it back in its box and said it was a brand new one in the box, really, because it's come up so well. Um, it has suffered from the, the classic... Sun bridge. The, the classic thing that happens to most DCL ones when they're left in sunlight where they go off colour. Yeah, and it's um, If I can show you, well, it should be more of a, a uh, like a brighter purple. It should be, it should, you can see like with the tools, look, that's the purple it should be. And that's the purple it is, but it's not bad. I mean, um, you know, it's come with all the stuff. Um, we have done a couple of upgrades, so the bin's been restored back. Um, this bins. is the, actually the original bin. I could have actually bought a brand new bin, but there is a, like a marker there. That's just proving it was the original bin. Um, on the original uh, video, I said about the manual. Well, I've got the manual there, so we'll look at that in a minute. I've got two of them. You're right. So, the tools. The tools did take a little while to get hold of. This is actually the correct tool because this one, um, if you ever look on the Argos scans, they have show the Dyson DC01 with a long um, crevice tool. Well, on this one, say, they have the short one. But officially, that was when the distill came out, it was generally. Uh, updated Look, in see, 1998. And you see that? I, I fixed the box and that looks brand new. Yeah. Days. So, the other side, like I say, I've got the missing part of the jigsaw. That took quite a while. Um, Dice and distill tool sets don't come up very often. Uh, and when I want to change filters. Right. So, yes. Um, one thing that we did do, if we can look how clean it is in there, there was the old... Uh, classic plaster dust in there so I had to so when I took it apart it was a little bit dusty but there was plaster dust and because it was using plaster dust this filter has probably been knackered now because it was Sorry, blowing out the plaster dust. In the old box. Um, this this filter here in fact I got from a car boot cell um, probably about 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 nine months ago, from, yeah. uh, and I only paid 50 pence for it. Yeah. Um, and quite often these little handles uh, break off. So and, we, and we're keeping that. Yeah, so that cost me 50 pence. 
No, um, I think you can get them for about a fiver. Normally. Oh no, no, just put that in there. So that's a brand new one. Yeah, just put that in there, guys. So that's what what it is. The standard Dyson only had the side filter, and later on, when the DCL4 was on its way, just coming out in '98, they updated the filters. Um, on a game, on a game, that's the they've got a car filter that actually looks like that. <laughs> It's a bit like that. So that one pops in there. That one should be replaced every 12 months. Yes, it was a, a, just a, a cleaner version of the original Dyson DC-01. Uh, the other thing that we've got here. It's the back to it. And I've got one in here. We won't show you in here. It's the... It's the long life filters with antibacterial screen. Now the original filters, let's get that one out. So this is the honor thing found in the cardboard. Yeah. So we did also. So there's the original manual. We also picked up this manual about about two months ago. And you might keep this. Yeah. From a car boot sale. No, I'm not taking that one out. No, I'm going to show the original one. Looks like the brand new one. Yeah. So that is the genuine Dyson original one. Um, these are not washable. This one is a long life one. And it is washable. That's in the right way. Yeah, because basically, um, when the DCL4 out, the filters were washable. So what they did is they updated the filters. So the because these are the DC01 long life filters with antibacterial screen to prevent of growth of bacteria, and they fit the absolute and the distilled. Oh, no, that's one to show no there. That's no. Yeah. So they are actually the absolute and the distill was the same spec machine. But, we, we but this was the top of the range <sighs> limited edition version. And we still keep the absolute. Yes. Yes, we has we have sport it. We have we actually had got it absolute as well. So that's coming up on the channel. Um, so if we have a look through the manual now. So we'll look through, yes, um, and I'm going to show you now why. Right, so there's, well, we'll look through this manual here. This is basically the instruction manual for it, which this is the actual original one that come with the machine, because the guy was a hoarder when I went in his front room. It, they had boxes piled up everywhere. It was it was like going into, um, what's that program called? What? Obsessive compulsive cleaners. Yes. Going into his house. Honestly, it was, seeing it for reality was unbelievable. So. It does show you here how the tools are supposed to go on, but we had it set up the way it has on the box. Um, if we get the, Just so I've been hunting around for a long, long time yeah. for this manual here. Um, these don't come up very often on eBay. Can I pull that one up? But what this, manual is that better about that? Yeah. So when I went to the car boots about two months ago. This turned up, it was a manual, the brochure, a filter and a belt. Now, Ugh. if we have a look through the manual here, look, you have the standard model, the Arctic Solo. We did have one of those. Um, I've just literally thrown one of them out because it was green. Yeah, so we might get a and paste that. Yeah, well only if a good one turns yeah. up, mind you. Um, you have the absolute, that's basically what Carl's absolute looks like. It's grey, it's no colour discoloration. And we also have the distill. And we also show the DCL2, the Arctic Solo. I could have had one of them the other day. Um, oh, go and spray? Yeah, it was, it was a bit of a, it was a bit weird because it was on there and it was gone. The absolute, which is the one he's got, and the, the, the distill. We got both of those. Yeah, and the recycling, which is a very rare machine. And indeed. I, I think Manchester Vax got the recycling. Yeah, and there's also another one, isn't there? There's a clear. Yeah, not Which is not on there, so the clear must have been a later one. And and there's an old detail one. So if you have a look at the tools on this one, it has the small tools. And there's an old detail two, and there's a whole dirt post power. Yeah, so. There's the, There's the Arctic Solo uh, edition. Uh, and and Dyson showed me what they've done. There's the Absolute. And there's a Distill. And there's a Recycling. So how well does Recycling? See, if you have a look on this, this, um, 
picture here, it has a picture of the bigger brush because when the DCL4 came out in round 1998, Dad, they made the tools. Where were the is? Eh? The psycho bow. Oh, they were. That's so the there's the tools that it shows you. This is a brochure, it just shows you, you can buy them, but you can actually buy the tool sets now. If you have a look here, look that says there Dyson Distel tool pack 15 pound. I'd if, if if I could get one for 15 pound brand new, I'd buy that. But as you can see, it has the bigger dust and brush. Well, on the DCL2. It has got the Sorry. the smaller one, which is what they used to have on their older DCL ones. Uh, and I think that's an older Dyson one. Yeah, so that's the that's the that's the newer one, isn't it? Yes. With the swivel, um, it's got a swivel on it. I'll show you that in a minute. And the old one has not got a swivel on it. And there's that one for that Dyson. Yeah, and the, basically you've got the the whole. You know, I'd <coughs> love to get older one of them because. Yeah. They always got cracks on the top yeah, of them. Yeah, and this one's got one. There's non Dyson hose, that kind of, and there's that, and there's the the up the up the Sony one, and there's that one. It's so it's quite color. interesting looking through the the thing. Um, I I could have actually bought a brand new bin, but I I I like to restore them really, yeah. uh, unless they're too bad. Um, there's the Arctic Sony bins. Yeah. And a non Dyson one bin, and they got uh, they didn't show them the head. There's the heads. Yeah, see, I didn't have the the head. And the head's upstairs, and but I'm not worried about that. that really sure who yet. have that sword in there, but they need a sword on there. Yeah. So they need a filter. So there's the standard filters, and there's a bacteria guard. And then, and the owner, what was it? The shots manual said they need a filter. And then later on, when the DCL4 came out, they made it a washable filter. Um, to obviously. And, and that's the, what I got. Yeah. One of those. So. There's and a there's, Dyson books. There's a Dyson books as well. So. Uh, oh, shop. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, back in 1987, I had a pack of that stuff. The and, original uh, one. and. Overnight courier service. And we never turned it out. Yeah, so they fix it and they bring it back the next day. So if you have a closer look at this machine, how it's come up, it's it's and actually. Bob, back it's the very first Dyson I've actually spent a bit of time on. Um, Polishing it up really well. And um, what shots of mango the best is one out Main there. reason is because of the colours. The colours, because of the like a lot of them grey and that, and you know they don't really need it. But because it's like it. the bright red yeah. with the purple, you know it needs to be looking really nice. So I'm going to show you the difference. The stickers are still one piece. I stripped the cyclone down. It only took me like an hour, less than an hour to do this one. And they are very basic when you compare them with the the newer ones. But mm -hmm. this one has a a swivel base. Well, the original ones had a fixed no, base. No, like that. Um, this is the original brush roll. It does pick up really well. Uh, move it back up. Right. And the cable's falling off. Yeah. yeah. The only thing I couldn't find for the minute was a clip. Um, so I'm going to be probably looking around. I'm probably going to get a clip for no, that one. And this is I do for the kittens. Yeah. So, yeah, that's fine. Shove it in. So, or wrap it around. What we'll do now, we'll just switch this one on. I'm not actually going to vacuum with this one today there. because um, it will be used. And what shots bang the kid out of those? So, we have got two manuals. So, if anybody wants a manual, no, and what? Um, and tell me what I've one's the best this one. Tell me what one's the best this. Oh, that one's brighter. Out of that one. Right. Yeah. So what we'll do now, we'll get this one switched on. Um, it has now got all its filters in. Um, I have oiled the bearings the best I could because once I've seen the plaster dust, that was it. I had to, to, I had to really go through the whole machine properly and make sure it was running. Um, the fan's still fine on it. So we turn this one on like that. So it is running nice. Yeah. Oh, that's because I've bearings up, mate. So you can just about smell the silicone grease, the silicone oil I use on the bearings. Um, generally, when I use, when I do hoover 
the Hoover Juniors. I go back to old school um, grease. While on the later machines, we use uh, cans of spray. Um, basically, it's quite hard now to actually get People, um, normal you grease. Shut your mind, you're that That's one. not in a can anymore now because the industry is all about speed. You know, you just spray it, it's done. I mean, your car, most car garages will use spray stuff opposed to putting their finger in and coating it all in. In some of that mango? I'll have to see. Yeah. So I've, I've got two manuals now, so I only need one. Yeah, and I think that's the one we're going to get rid of. Yeah, right. they're all in perfect condition. Yeah, and, and that's the bestest one out there. So really what have we got in there to best this? So really pleased with this one. This is the first part of the distill series for us. Um, I'm going to let you have a secret now. We have got both of the other two ones as well. So we will be putting them on, but they're just unrestored at the moment. So they are, they do get all get used, but... No, put it back in here. Carl wants to put it back in the box. So bye for now, and please subscribe to Vacuum Addict, and thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.